What's going on guys? Welcome back to another new video. This one featuring 2122 22 Panini Cont uh, um, Upper Deck Credentials, not Contenders Kid. Well, I guess we don't need these guys. Let's just get them out of there. I meant credentials. That's right. Kind of a meme at this point that this stuff is basically a blatant ripoff of Panini Contenders. As far as Panini sets go, I don't like a lot of what Panini does. I actually like Contenders. It's some of the football sets I'll occasionally buy, so I'm okay that it's a blatant ripoff. Yeah, here we got 21, 22 can credentials, which of course came out a couple weeks ago, like maybe in a couple months ago at this point, and I completely skipped it at the time. Um, I think basically just looked at the price, $200, no auto. Uh, I just said, no, I'm not even going to touch that one for the time being, and um, was randomly on one of the online sellers of hockey cards of recently and saw that it had dropped like 150 bucks and I was like oh maybe I'll go check it out so I went to my LCS and it wasn't 150 bucks there it was about 180 still uh, but for whatever after it came out I wanted to circle back and check it out again anyway so here we are checking it out today so better than never that's all right so we're gonna looking at eight packs per box six cards per pack and of course not guaranteed autos is what it is. I'll actually talk about my opinion on that in a second. My opinion's kind of changed on no guaranteed autos. Not for the better, but just a little bit. Sort of having mixed feelings on that. Um, so I'll talk about that. And also, of course, this set has the 2021 rookies in here because they didn't have a, its own full 2021 set. So it's like a dual rookie class set. And also, after this release, they did the whole Cole Caulfield rookie redemption thing where you got to get the uh, full 22 cards instead of the oranges to get the Cole Caulfield autos. So they ended up not being in here, which was sort of a bad thing. Upper Deck should have said something, but they sort of made right at least he made a redemption program so anyway so 150 card base set 50 veterans and 100 debut ticket access cards and so that means 100 rookie class which uh take the dual rookie class there's a lot of rookies in here most of them are not good which is sort of what happens when you get that many rookies in a set so basically this one is all about the base parallels there's tons of different ones and the debut ticket access parallels as well as the rookies are split up into tiers and numbering so the good ones are numbered to 299 the bad ones are numbered to 999 and of course the 2120 or the 2021 20, cards which are also in here are sort of the numbered the exactly exactly the same so as far as inserts go they're stars of the night i believe you get one of those yeah regular so you get one of those pretty much per pack as well as rookie rivals which are one or two and speed of the game which are one in 16 rookies are one in six through from the glass one in 320 so a short printed harder to hit one that's sort of one of the things you can get here instead of the autographs that and the acetate card so kind of sucks that you don't get the autographs guaranteed but uh based on what i've seen from the latest products like uh hindsight of reviewing this after i've opened some ultimate which is guaranteed autographs and most boxes that I've seen have two autographs in there. Quality of the autographs has gotten so bad, and I just mean like the quality of the signer, not so much the actual physical. The penmanship isn't that bad, um, but the actual quality of the autographs are gotten so bad, um, and it's so hard to hit a good autograph that do we even care anymore that they're guaranteed? Like, is that what they're doing? If I'm going to hit two F-tier rookie autographs, like Noah Cates and, or like a Jonathan Dolan and an Eklund autograph, uh, no shade to this, those guys, no disrespect, but those aren't the autographs anyone's chasing. Would you rather have that or would you rather have like some hard to hit one in 320 card that maybe has more value? It's an autograph driven hobby, so it's tough to make that argument, but uh, I don't know. It just seems like that's what they're going. So it doesn't really, at this point, doesn't really bother me that the autographs aren't guaranteed because half the time you hit one, it sucks anyway. So, but anyway, as far as autographs go, speaking of serial numbered acetate debut ticket autographs and the acetate ticket autographs are sort of the nice ones that you're going to go for, harder to hit autographs. And then there's the update autographs in here as well from 2021 or more numbered and acetates also update versions of the acetates as well so then for the 21 22 there's a main stage signatures rookie arrival autographs and stars of the night autographs which are numbered so pretty much that's what you're looking for is the uh, acetate ones ideally any numbered autograph is nice six like i said six cards per pack eight packs per box 20 boxes per case with two inners box per average is a one autograph or non-auto acetate card could be those uh brew from the glass or just a regular acetate sort of like a rookie access card eight inserts which are star of the night and a rookie arrivals like i said one of those per pack because there's eight packs in here two tech inserts and five numbered cards i originally just decided to pass on this stuff when it came out um 200 bucks for what it was which i think is what my lcs was charging at the time which is more than i was willing to pay i wound up almost paying that much anyway but at least it's come down a little bit so and i did always plan on circling back to it i didn't want to skip it entirely so from what i've seen stuff's okay it's just your typical watered down upper deck it's not as good as it was and i think we're all kind of sick of 21 22 but kind of unique to have a dual rookie class so i figured it's definitely worth checking it out and like i said i do like contenders so we'll see how I like credentials. All right, so eight packs. There's pack number one. Good old McDavid product. Base. Let's see there. So we get four base cards per few years of stats, which is nice. Just gets that. We got Tim Stutzla. So we got uh, so we got first numbered card there. So there's Bennington. So this is the base. Regular numbered card to 149. 
or it's just yellow, I assume. I better bring up my. I thought this was yellow, but this is in fact orange. It looks pretty yellow to me, but they call this orange. So there's your base parallel of uh, Biddington there. First Jason Robert, or first star of the night card, J Rob. Second star there. So like how they tiered things. Go spare and Kaprizov. Kaprizov on the base. Decent looking base set. I think they could really like lean into the whole the access card thing a little more with the base. But we have a very Panini esque backwards card here. They just really they stole they stole the set idea from Panini and they're really leaning into that. So it's a Chuck Suzuki. So we got a the speed of the game card for this one is backwards. So we got a Mitch Marner speed of the game. That's a good looking card actually. A little, little bit of rainbowy foiler there. Nothing too over the top. Looks good. And then we got a rookie arrivals of Wyatt Kalnick. Unnumbered insert there, so more or less it's not, nothing too great in that pack. It's almost like a base pack. So overall, I'm not expecting a ton from credentials from what I've seen. Kind of hard to say anything too crazy. All right, well, here's key for Bellows. Debut ticket access. Another backwards card, so <laughs> Panini has so base debut ticket access there, $9.99. They're the coolest looking card in here, I think. It's like an access card, really. And then a Gregory Denisenko Arrivals. It's nothing too exciting. So like I said, hopefully hit a decent auto, but at the same time, if it's not an auto, maybe prefer that over a bad auto. I don't know. The debut ticket access of JJP. That's a good card, good card there. So he's out of 99. Not a bad card at all there. Blue for John Jason Paterka there. Nice thicker base stock by the feel of it. Yeah, definitely a thicker card. JJP is a pretty good rookie. from That would be a but nice looking card. We'll take that. And then the star of the night, Johnny Tavares for star. Rat and Artemi Panarin. All right, so it looks like an acetate card of some kind here. Acetate card, maybe an auto. I'm not sure. We'll just we're gonna set that aside and we'll do that. We'll do that one last. Build the suspense. All right, Kuznetsov, Adam Fox. And we got another speed of the game. The backwards ones. Cracking me up that they're backwards. It's so panini. It's so funny. Rookie Rivals of Neighbors. And for Terry, another ticker. Oh, Jasper Weatherby. So to $9.99. So definitely, definitely a tier one auto there. Weatherby's nothing special. Again, decent looking card. But yeah, Weatherby's not gonna, not really going to move the needle at all there. Prosvetov. Got David Bass. All right, D-Boss, Dylan Larkin, Stone. So we got a debut ticket access for Emil Alarmy to set an, an update. It says there's an update, so we did get one update. So as I said, I don't recognize, recognize his name from the 21-22 rookie crop. So Emil Alarmy out of 199 there. And then for star of Maritz Sider. Right on. You can get parallels of these, I think, but I did not hit one. There we go. All right, so moving on back to our acetate something or other here. So. Back, Kyle Connor, Patrick Kane. It's definitely a acetate. So you got Eli Tolvanen, Star of the Night, and all right. So we got two acetate cards. Apparently, that's interesting. So first back one, I guess. Cole Lind. Oh, we got one of these. This might be a dual auto. I've seen these uh, when I when this set first came out. Sometimes the dual auto boxes came out. So you got Cole Lynn, 43 of 99. So a decent on-card auto there. Acetate, whatever you want to call him there. So there's Cole Lynn for the Kraken. Decent, decent rookie, actually. And then just another autograph. Uh, JBD, Jacob and our Docker, 64 of 99. So this is the one thing that was interesting about the credentials that I completely forgot about actually now that it's been a while since I've watched anyone open it is that this happened a lot. A ton of these things stuck together in the same box. Like I think the one review I saw, it was like two red autos, like pretty of a decent play. I can't remember, but it's been a while now. It's so long it's been since the set came out. But and like, I don't, I, I just wonder if uh, I didn't hear a whole bunch of people complaining that they didn't get autos because like, would you not know? Because it's not guaranteed. If it's guaranteed and this happened, you'd think there'd be a bunch of boxes missing autos, but I don't know. Upper next QC sometimes is just a little bit out there, so... There we go. So overall, it's a fun open. It definitely needs to keep coming down in prices. Like this stuff at like 130 bucks would be a would be a pretty good deal. So hopefully it keeps going down, and it will, because once the 23, 24 stuff comes out, all this older stuff is just gonna plummet. So bargains to be had eventually there. So standard inserts don't do anything too special for me. We did at least pull one update. So just get a look at what the both designs look like there. Larmy, I honestly have never even heard of Larmy. I didn't open a ton of 2021, so I obviously know the big guys from 2021, but he definitely is not on that list. So Jasper Weatherby. These are not as nice of a card. The update ones are not nearly as nice. These are on a thicker, these are a much thicker base stock, so a much nicer card, but Paterka's real nice, 99 for sure. I like the Buffalo Sabres this year. One of the, another one of those teams that's going to look nasty this year. We'll see. Look out for them. And then, uh, 
So here's the debut base one of Kiefer Bellows there. Bellows also, yeah, Bellows was also an update, wasn't he? Yeah, Bellows is also an update. Okay, that makes sense. Should have caught that the first time, but sip at the wheel here. And then uh, Bennington probably getting ready to fight someone. He's tricking you to thinking he's going to stop a puck, but he's actually going to go try and try and fight someone's f some team's bench. So good looking card there, though. Even though it's technically orange, it looks more like the yellow one, the St. Louis one. So that's kind of almost like a color match. So And then, of course, our dual autos, which you can't complain hitting two autos. Neither of them, again, are like super sought after rookies or anything like that but two on card numbered autos is nice and it's kind of funny um it's, it's just, uh, the fact that i forgot that this happens then it happened to me so overall happy with that opening i guess not like jumping for joy with that opening but it was fun I'm happy i checked out credentials you always got a uh pictures never do sets justice so it's always nice to get it in hand and see uh, the quality of the cards looks fine quality control otherwise having two autos always a little bit questionable sometimes not always a little bit questionable but it's sometimes questionable with upper deck so there you guys go hope you enjoyed that one always make if you're not already please subscribe like like the video subscribe to the channel do all that stuff always appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you in the next one